Welcome back, everyone, to episode 10 in our Let's Play series of Industry Manager Future Technologies. Now, what we've been doing the last few videos, we've been working our way through the Personal Electronics Factory tab. We've, we've already got some products that we're working on, a couple of them. We got mobile phone that we worked our way through the entire product line. Uh, and got the entire product production tree working for us. So now we're making all the components of the mobile phone. And we've moved on to smart glasses and are now working our way through the production tree for it. In our previous video, we took care of the first three items here. We're now, we're mining lithium, we're making carbon fiber plastics, and we're also making glass fiber. So that's where we left off. Today, we're going to work on finishing up the, the remaining part of the production tree, which means that we're going to need to make graphene batteries and memoristic processors. If you'll remember, right now, we're currently getting both of these products from the global market, so we'll want to take care of that as well. So let's take a look at what we need to make graphene batteries. First of all, we need a gold mine. Well, let's go ahead and start by coming out of here. And we're going to go ahead and let time get started. And if you remember toward the end of the previous video, we went ahead and got a mine going. And because we knew we were going to need this coming up shortly, so we went ahead and got one. It doesn't make very much per day, but as we looked around the map, really none of these sectors in our immediate area made a whole lot of, of gold per day. So hopefully we won't need too terribly much, but I do know we're going to be expanding today. We're going to need some more land. As you can see here, I mean, we're... You know, we're pretty much busting at the seams. We don't have room, you know, especially the mines take up a lot of room. So we've got room for maybe three more in here, maybe, you know, and not much room left here either. So we're going to need to expand. All right. So gold is taken care of for now. And in case you're wondering if you're following along with me, I'm not worried too much about the amounts we're getting. And do we have enough supply of one thing or another? We'll... We'll get back into that, but for right now, I'm trying to get through this production tree and get everything up and going. Looks like we got more bank problems, so this, the world we live in in this game, uh, the banking industry is not good. So no more new loans. Luckily for us, that doesn't matter because we're not using loans anyway. Okay, so we'll go back and, and check all the production amounts and make sure everything's operating on all cylinders at a later date. But right now, we're just trying to get some factories built and get some things up and running. All right, and so gold, we're mining. Carbon fiber plastics, we're making because we made those in the last video. So now we're down to composite rubber, which we are not currently making. All right, that's in a chemical factory. Let's see what we're going to need to make that. All right, looks like we're going to get into the farming business, but not the farming business that I'm familiar with. Being in, in the south uh, part of America, we don't really have latex farms, and we're not really farming bacteria. So what I'm used to are cows, chickens, sheep, goats, whatever your particular flavor is, but not latex and bacteria. But it looks like we're going to get into that business here today as well. And then we're going to be working with carbon fiber, which is a textile factory. So we're getting into some different things here. First two parts of this taken care of already for us. But when we get into the composite rubber, and it, it gets a little bit more complicated. Now let's see what we need to make carbon fiber polymer and chemicals, which we are already making in other places. So that is great. All right. As you can see, and this gives us an opportunity to point this out real quick. Resources unlocked 158 of 206. We're getting to the point where we've unlocked a lot of things, which means that research is quickly reaching a point where we're going to get to the point where we say, oh yeah, we've already researched that. We've already researched that. So instead of focusing on researching and unlocking new buildings, we're going to get to the point where we're just we're continuing to build additional buildings rather than having to worry so much about research. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at research. Time is flowing at a normal rate right now because we are researching things so quickly, it's hard to keep up, keep track of sometimes. Okay, so we're right now we are researching the metal forge to unlock it, and then it looks like we've got advanced materials and workforce queued up. So advanced materials here, workforce here. Okay, so now we've got the first workforce queued up. I'm going to go ahead and let's make sure it, yeah, okay, so that, that gives us our three workforce levels. 
So we'll have the metal forge entirely researched. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look through the resource buildings. Warehouse, fully fleshed out for us. No more research to be done there. Mines, we have opened up rare minerals and workforce. So we're good there. Pro production storage, I'm not worried about product storage. I'm not worried about the product line cost or quality, any of that right now. Oil wells, maximize workforce. We're good there. Then we come to farms, process food, workforce. We're good there. Now, animal ranch, you can see we're not good there. We need genetic materials and we need one, two, three. That'll take care of all of the workforce there. Okay, so we're good to go there. Now let's move over to the refinery. You can see refinery is opened up and maximized workforce. Chemical factory opened up. We've researched our plastics and rubber. Workforce is maximized. We come to the metal forge, which is what we're working on now. Advanced materials and then workforce will be taken care of. Glass, again, everything taken care of. Moving on to textile. Synthetics are opened up. Workforce is maximized. And finally, electronics factory we have everything opened up that we need. So our resource buildings are basically taken care of moving forward. What we'll be focusing on moving forward is we'll see if there's any more company-wide research that we want to work on. Uh, you can see worker salary, which is a huge component of our cost side of the equation, is already fully fleshed out. Building costs are as low as we can get them, and it's when we're building new buildings. Research duration is as speedy as we can get it. Advertising, I'm sort of staying away. I think there's uh, some bugs with that. May or may not have already been fixed. Uh, sector cost, that we can get into because that will lower the amount uh, of, of cost in new land, which we're about to do now. But let's face it, we, we got plenty of money flowing right now, making 170,000 per turn or per day in gaming terms. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, sector resource amount that we want to get into, but mostly what we're going to be spending our time moving forward on would be product buildings, jumping into new products and services. So let's go ahead and see what we need to queue up next. So resource buildings, we got through, I believe, all of these. I was thinking there was one that still needed to be maximized, but it looks like, thankfully, I was wrong about that. Okay, the animal ranch is what I was thinking of. So we're about to hit the, we have level one done, and you can see we have two and three being worked on. Okay, so everything is good there. Okay, so let's go back to our product buildings and vehicle factories we've not gotten into, biotech, we've not messed with it, software company, we've gotten most everything uh, out of that, home electronics, we've not gotten into personal electronics. Let's come back here, and let's see what we need to do here. So we've gotten some things opened up. Let's go ahead and see what else we need to open up. AI, personal digital, I guess that's assistant, yeah. And then integrated display, we'll go ahead and get those taken care of. We've got two more levels. We can do advanced imaging, or image processing, rather. And then we can do, looks like that's all we can do for now. Okay, so we're, we're all set there. So let's go ahead and come out of there and let's start doing some building. So first and foremost, coming down to the graphene batteries, we first two are taken care of. We're going to need composite rubber from a chemical factory, which is going to require a couple of farms. So let's go ahead and start with our farms. So we need one farm for latex, one for the bacteria. Okay, and in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and buy some more land. Now, I want to keep everything basically uh, together on the map. So in looking around beforehand at some of the land, this land doesn't have very much oil and it doesn't have some of the other uh, raw materials that we might need. Gold has 22, that's, that's doing pretty good. No gold here, no oil here, no real reason to jump in there. But I did find this one. You can see plenty of oil, not too bad on gold, not as high as we have, but it has a good amount of silica which I believe we're going to need more of going forward. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this one. Okay, so now we own 
Again, everything is right here in close proximity, which doesn't seem to really be an issue in this game. Uh, logistics don't seem to be a big deal. It does seem like, you know, we've got some traffic, some AI moving around on the roads and whatnot, but it doesn't seem to be any, any timing issues uh, so that being closer to the cities or farther away from the cities and, and so on really doesn't seem to matter. So let's go ahead and get some building construction underway. So we come into our available buildings tab. And the first thing we're going to want to build is a couple of farms. All right, let's find our farm. Here we go. It only costs about 490000 Okay, and these farms are huge. Now, before I build the farm, we want to build it somewhere where there's good soil fertility and water. Well, you can see here, 96 and 97%. So not bad. Not bad at all. So we're going to come back in, choose our farm here. And I am going to... Let's go ahead and align these things right there. So we're going to need two farms. We already know that. And catastrophic food sanitation revealed. That doesn't sound good. All right, so we've got some failing in the production of products. So just in time, this hits just in time for us when we're building farms. All right, so it looks like this is largely the result of poor warehousing. And so demand is expected to return normal soon once standards have been met. So we're going to see how this works out. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and click around a little bit because I think it seemed to be some sort of a bug that you encounter when these types of events happen in the game. It's like there's some reason you can't get off of them or, you know, things like that. I know we've had problems in the past where, uh, like, research, for example, you know, there was something that happened with research. There was some espionage and things going on. And it was like, how long is this going to last before I can get back to doing research? So we'll see how long this lasts with the farms. Man, these farms are huge. So I can only fit one right there. So this land isn't going to take care of our, our problems, that's for sure. Okay, so in one of these facilities, first of all, let's go ahead and upgrade our workforce to its max. I don't think we need uh, processed food, but we'll find out shortly. Okay, so we have access to 35 workers. Let's go ahead and add. All right, so one of the things we need is latex. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Again, seems really odd that we're getting latex from a farm, but hey, we'll go with it. Okay, so how many of these can we produce? Wow, quite a bit. 846 per day. Okay, and what do we need? We don't need anything. So good, no raw materials that we're going to need. This thing's going to immediately start processing that on the farm. So we'll just take care of our warehouse. Now we're getting very close to needing a new warehouse. But for now, let's see if we can get through this amount without needing one. Let's see. Okay, so quantity production has started. Let's go ahead and take care of our next product. We'll see workforce upgrade. We go from eight workers to 35. Okay, so what do we need this one to make? This is where we need the bacteria. So let's go ahead and see what does that look like. There it is. So there's our bacteria. Looks like there's all sorts of interesting stuff you can make on a farm of all places. So bacteria, we're going to make that. And once again, do we need any products? No, we do not need any raw materials to do this. You got to love those. Makes your logistics a little bit easier. All right, so we've got quality maxed out. Let's see what our production is per day. We can make a lot of these per day, 665 per day. Go ahead and get that up and running. Let that start producing. And our transport route is going to go to our second warehouse for now. Uh, again, we're very close to needing a new warehouse. And so we're all set here. Let's make sure it's creating. It is. Let's run over to our warehouse, which is here. And let's see what we get. So we got our bacteria shows up here and our latex shows up here. We're at 50% storage. So as we get later on into the game and as we really start to open things up and need more of these raw materials and intermediate products that we're producing now, um, I think we're going to see our, our warehouses be a lot less filled. But for now, we're overproducing a lot of stuff, which is really hurting our bottom line. But as you can see, we're still basically printing money over here. 
Um, so, so everything is fine. So our, our two farms are up and going. Now we need to work on carbon fiber. So composite rubber, we're almost there. We've got our latex and our bacteria coming in. Now we need our carbon fiber. What do we need in carbon fiber? Polymer and chemicals, two things we're already making. So we're ready for a textile factory. Okay, let's take a quick glance at our research and we have no research going right now. So let's go ahead and let's see what all we've got and what we've opened up. Okay, so we've got this. So authentication, we're gonna open up. Language database, we're gonna open up. And let's go back to our company research and just hit a couple of these. Reduce our sector cost and then sector resource amount. That will be very nice as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going for research. And let's see, one more thing I did wanna look at. So our textile factory, do we have it maxed out? Yes, we do. Okay, so now we're ready to build. Let's find our textile factory in here somewhere. Textile factory takes about a little over 2.4 million to build and we're gonna build it. Thankfully, it doesn't take all that much room. Can we fit one right here? We can. All right, try to fit in there as nicely as we can. Okay, we're gonna put a textile factory here, which we already know is gonna be making carbon fiber. And then our components that we need for carbon fiber are going to be are going to be available in our very first warehouse if I'm not mistaken rather than our second one. All right, so we're letting this get through. And so things are really working well. After we get done with this, you can see after we get done here, we'll be ready to go ahead and build our composite rubber factory since we'll have all the components needed for it. Okay, let's slow down things a little bit and come into here. Workforce, we definitely want to max out. I'm not sure about the synthetic line. We'll find out momentarily if we need to add that. So now what do we need here? We need carbon fiber. Let's see what else just quickly. Animal textiles. Mineral textile. Okay, so we got some different things we can make here. Carbon fiber is what we're interested in, and it says we're missing that upgrade. All right, so we did need it. No problem. We'll come back over here, grab it. No sense in spending that money that we didn't necessarily have to. All right, here it's telling us how much of each we need. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Again, we're overproducing for the most part, although we'll find out at some point if we're actually underproducing anything that we need, and then we'll take care of it at that particular time. All right, so max out our quality, and let's see how many carbon fiber. Wow, we can make a bunch. 11.42 per day. Okay, very nice. And what do we need to, to bring in? I love this, this little eye button here that tells us about our required resources, tells us how many we need. So it tells us we're going to need to go get polymer and chemicals for this. No problem at all. Let's go ahead and add our transport route. I believe these are located in the first warehouse. There we go. Chemicals are there. So that's where that's going to come from. And resource. There we go. Polymer is also being stored there. So that takes care of our raw materials or intermediary products that we need for production. Let's go ahead and take care of where we're going to place our final product, which is going to be in the second warehouse. And that's where we're going to put our carbon fiber. All right. Now, we're done there. So where are we ready for? We're ready for our composite rubber factory, which is a chemical factory. So let's go back into our building and find our chemical factory, which is right here at about $2.1 million. And we're going to go ahead and I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to place it. Do I want to go long ways? I don't think I want to go long ways because I really don't think there's enough room to place anything next to it. So we'll just let it face instead of toward the road. We'll let it face and make a little interesting road section there. Not a big deal. Definitely not going to spend too much time worried about it. All right, let's take a quick look while that's building at our production tree. So composite rubber is about to be our, our remaining piece of the puzzle for this section of it. Then we'll move into graphene. What do we need for graphene? Well, we're going to need a metal forge. For that, we're going to need graphite, which we're already mining, and chemicals, which we're already making, which we just got through taking a look at. So we're going to need a metal forge 
for our graphene. Okay, no problem. So we're we're done building here. Chemical factories are huge, and boy, do they put out the pollution. So let's go ahead and take a, a look. First and foremost, we're going to need the workforce upgrade to get us up to our max number of workers. So we're going to be making composite rubber, which means that I'm sure we're going to need this upgrade. Let's go ahead and take care of that. All right. And so with those two upgrades out of the way, let's go to our... All right. So we're going to be making here the composite rubber. And as you can see, the products that we need, we already know what those are. And... Start out by maxing out the quality. Again, not sure if that makes any difference at all other than increasing our cost. It definitely does that. And we'll max out production as well. 4,285 per day. All right, now we're going to need to work on... Oh, we've got another worker strike, and this time at farms. So we got a worker strike. This is another thing that's really caused us trouble in the past. And I'm not sure. Let's see. It says... All right, so 614, so from there to 620. All right, we'll keep an eye on that and see if the worker strike ends at that particular point. And in fact, with that in mind, let's go ahead and just speed things up a little bit. Okay, back to, uh, we got our production line up and running. Let's go ahead and get our transportation routes. All right, so what do we need here? Well, we need latex, which we know is coming from a farm, which we know is coming from the second of our warehouses. So we've got that taken care of. And so we know we also have from the farm our bacteria. So we've got our both of our raw materials there. And then what else do we need? We need our carbon fiber, which we also know is in our second warehouse. And it is right here. So now we have our three raw materials and we need to have our way to get our final product to the warehouse, which is our composite rubber. So that's taken care of. Let's see, things are working. So we've already got some storage. Production is underway. That tells me we've at least got enough to get production started. Okay. So we, we're definitely underway. Now we need a metal forge. So first three taken care of in this production tree. Now we need a metal forge. And these two things we're not going to have to worry about because we're already making those. All right, metal forge. So we're going to make graphene in a metal forge. And just to take a, a quick look here, metal forge is maxed out with everything that we need for now. So we're ready to produce here. All right, metal forge. Where would it be located? Right here, and it cost about $2 million. So I'm going to go ahead and put it. Let's see, where do I want it to go? It looks like it can fit right back in this corner. And so that's where we're going to put it. Not a pretty configuration, but that's all right. All right, so this is going to go ahead, and while that's building, speed that up a little bit, take a look back in here. That's going to take care of our graphene battery. Then we'll move on to our processor. So not bad. Let's go ahead and... See what, that's almost done. So what do we need? We're going to need graphite and chemicals, okay? So we've got that. So workforce upgrade we want to get taken care of. Advanced materials, I actually don't know if we need that or not. Let's find out. Okay, so graphene, is it, here it is. And then we've also got nano composite. So, all right, so we do need the advanced materials upgrade. So not a problem. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, come back in, graphene, select that. We're going to need our chemicals and graphite. Max out our quality and max out our daily production. 1,666, confirm that. Now let's take care of our transportation routes. And let's see, we're going to need chemicals. Take care of that. And I believe graphite is coming from here, and it is. You know, I do wonder why. Why would they show us aluminum in this particular screen? Because it's not needed for this. I would think you would only want to show folks, you know, the players, there's so much going on in this game 
that why would you want to show people stuff you don't need to know right away on the screen? Just show us the, the, the actual raw materials we need for this particular product and then let us go on. There's enough going on as it is. We don't need it any more complicated. All right, so we've got our two raw materials and then our final product. And this warehouse, yeah, this warehouse is starting to get kind of full. Both of them are at 70 plus percent. It's about time to make a new warehouse that we're going to start using for things going forward. Okay, so let's take a check on what we're getting now. Uh, we've got graphene, which is taken care of. Now, that's going to end our graphene battery production once we make, obviously, the graphene batteries themselves, which we're going to do now. And that means we can cancel our order with the global market. Okay, so let's go into our open orders through the global market. And you can see graphene battery. We're going to delete that order. That leaves us with only one order for the processors each day. And let's come back over. Now, what do we want to make? We want to make a electronics factory to make our batteries. So let's find the electronics factory. I can never remember where all these things are. So I just scroll through here until I find it. So I've missed it somewhere. Electronics factory, 2.8 million. And I am going to put that right in here. Although it, yeah, I guess we'll go with that. We can always buy more land, right? So we've got that working. That's going to make our batteries. Now, while that is working, by the way, let's see. Are we still getting any production? Is that worker strike over? It says, it seems to be. As far as I can tell, uh, it looks to me like we're making every day. Uh, as far as I can tell, anyway. So, okay. And if I come in here, you know, latex, we've got plenty of latex in here, plenty of the, of the bacteria in here. So it does seem like things are working. Okay, progress report. Again, we're not going to worry too much about that. We're making money just fine. Definitely not optimized, but we're making money for sure. So let's go ahead into our electronics factory. That's where we're going to make our graphene batteries, upgrade our workforce, battery technology. We need that. Don't believe we need the processor upgrade. So we're going to ignore that for now. Let's add our production line for our graphene batteries, which are where? Right here. There we are. Graphene battery. We're going to need a bunch of stuff. Okay, but first and foremost, let's get the production line set up and max out our daily quantity, which looks to be a bunch. Okay, so 9,000 is the, the maximum. I was wondering if it was ever going to stop me. So we can make 9,000 of these a day. That seems like a lot. All right, so we can see right here. So far, we're, we're providing nothing because we haven't set up our transportation route. So that's an easy and quick way to find out, you know, am I, pro am I providing all of the raw materials that this particular factory needs? Well, we know we need gold, so we're going to choose that. All right, we need composite rubber. Let's go ahead and add one for that, which I believe is in the second one. Uh, composite rubber. There it is. And what do we need next? We need graphene, I believe, which is also in the second one. Carbon fiber. Let's see. There we go, the graphene. Okay, and I've now forgotten what else we need. So what else do we need? Carbon fiber plastics. Love that screen. That is very helpful. Carbon fiber plastics. I can't actually remember where it's located. Ah, and it is in the second one. Okay, good. So now we can come back up to our production line, see that all of our required materials are being provided, and it looks like we still have plenty of all of these, so it doesn't look like we're running out of any of these anytime soon, but we'll see how it goes as we go forward. All right, that's all of our raw materials. Now we need somewhere to take our finished product and yeah let's go ahead and and finish out this second warehouse although that's as much as I want to put in there really okay with that in mind 
I want to have a new building. And let's go ahead and go back as far as we can here. I want another warehouse. And where can I put this warehouse? Let's go ahead and put it right in here. Fits pretty nicely in there. Would be a terrible location in real life, I would think, for a warehouse. All right, so we'll let that go ahead and start building. And now we're on to our final product for this video, which is the processor. So we're gonna need electronics factory for it. We need gold, silica, graphite. We're, all, we're already making all of those. And chemical mixture. Made in a chemical factory with, looks like most of this we're already making. Okay, no big deal there. So we're gonna need to first and foremost make, uh, we already have petrochemicals. We're already making the bacteria. Genetic cell catalyst, another thing that you would definitely not expect to find on an animal ranch. So we need an animal ranch. To get us started, let's go ahead and slow things down. Let's see, I don't think we need to upgrade anything. Yeah, we, do. we want to upgrade the storage amounts. Did that work? Okay, I'm not sure if that worked or not. Okay, so now we've got that going. All right, so what do we, we need here? As you see, I've already forgotten. We need to make an animal ranch making genetic cell catalyst. So animal ranch it is making the sexy product of the catalyst. And, oh, here we go, Animal Ranch. Costs about 560. Can I squeeze that in there? Of course not. All right, we're gonna try to fit. This is definitely looking ugly. And as you can see, we've, we've already basically filled up another sector here. So, hard to believe. Oh, great. So now our production on Animal Ranches is shut down. Looks like that's going to last until 9-7, so a little bit. We're going to let this keep going. Great. So hopefully that takes care of that. So it's until 9-7. We'll keep an eye out for that. Production is halted. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Because this game is throwing a lot of stuff at us as soon as we make these particular buildings. It's almost as if they had it planned. Okay, so what do we need here? We need, wow, there's a lot of stuff you can make here. Okay, so we know we need the genetic cell catalyst, but again, there's a lot of stuff that I wouldn't think you would make <laughs> on an animal ranch. All right, so there's our catalyst production. Are you gonna let me set my maximum capacity? Yes, you are. You're gonna let me set up all these things even though they're not gonna work right now. Okay. So, and oh, great, we've got more trouble. Well, there is lots of trouble in paradise. So bad business decisions by the banks. So small loans, okay, so, all right, we're fine there. All right, first and foremost, let's see, what do we need for, as for raw materials? We don't need any. So that's an excellent thing right now that makes things even more simple for us. Um, and that just reminded me, I need to rename this warehouse. We're going to name this one three, a very, very interesting name, very specific. And the key is it keeps things easy. So that's where we're going to put our bacteria and is production going. Uh, production is going. So we're past the date that it showed us on our news bulletin. So production is going. So a very short strike. And we do have the catalyst. All right. Excellent. Okay, what else do we need? So we're already making bacteria, we're making the catalyst, we're making the petrochemicals. Now we're ready for a chemical factory to make our chemical mixture. Makes sense? Chemical factories make chemical mixtures. So let's see, where can we fit this in? Nothing like having chemical factories right next to ranches and farms. I'm sure that's great for the environment, no doubt. All right, and our research I'm sure has run out by now, it has. And we're not going to worry about that right now. We've just got a lot of stuff going on, so we're just going to stay with what we're after right now. Research is happening so quickly. We've got three R&D centers, which are located up here. One, two, three. We've researched about everything I think we're going to worry about for now. Okay, production lines. What do we need? 
and plastics and rubber. I uh, actually don't think we need that. But we're going to find out. So chemical mixture right here. You can see the products we're going to need. Hopefully I can remember those here in just a moment. When we need them. And how much of these can we make? All right, 833 per day. Do we want to hire the workers? Absolutely we do. And transport routes. Let's go ahead and... We're going to do our raw material, or excuse me, our raw materials last and do our chemical mixture first and have it go to the third warehouse. Okay, now let's go ahead and I believe what we need is going to be our second warehouse. The bacteria is going to be there. Let's take a quick look at what else we're going to need. Bacteria is at the second one. The genetic cell catalyst, we need to do. And let's choose our warehouse. That's also going to be, or is it at the, nope, it's not. It's actually at the third one. That was actually the first product I sent to the third warehouse. All right, then we need our, from the, I believe the first warehouse. Yeah, there they are, the petrochemicals. So now I believe we've got production going. We do. So chemical mixture is going to the, third warehouse so let's take a look at our third warehouse right here and sure enough the quantity is rolling in same thing with the catalyst so it looks like everything is going well there so everything here is taken care of now chemical mixture is good we're already mining these three we're ready to take care of that and now we're ready for our electronics factory where we're going to make our processors and where is it at electronics factories I'm gonna to try to slide in here and we're really just gonna cram the stuff in here speed up production and as I said this will be our final piece to the puzzle for our smart glasses be our memoristic processors and because we're getting very close to making those on our own we come over to the global market open up our open orders there's our processors and we delete that so we are no longer doing any business with the global market on a daily basis. So, building is now complete. Let's come back up here and upgrade our workers from a maximum of six workers to now 25 batteries and then processors. We're going to need the processing upgrade for this. Let's add what we need in memoristic processor. There it is. You can see what we'll need. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Okay, so we've got max out our quality and we can make 1400 per day. Hire the workers, absolutely. All right, so what all do we need? So we do we need we need gold, silica, and graphite. All of those I believe are in our second warehouse. We'll find out shortly. So we got gold and Silica, and I believe our final piece that we need, the graphite, might actually be in our first warehouse. Based on what I'm seeing, it looks like it is. It is not. And there it is, graphite. Okay, and if I come back and consult here, now I need the chemical mixture. And by the way, you can see, looks like we're in good shape with all our supply here so our chemical mixture is the final piece to this particular puzzle and i believe that is also wait it is at three it is at three how easily it is to forget exactly what's going on and our final product will go to warehouse number three so we have all of our products in place now we have production going Let's come over to our warehouse, see if we've got any in stock. We do. Okay. So we're almost done. Let's take a look at our smart glasses and see what all we need here. And as you can see, we've got all of these items coming in except for our processors. We don't have any processors left. If you remember, and the reason why it's showing the zero is because we were having so much trouble getting enough of them from the global market that we weren't getting enough per day. So this ought to really speed up our production 
of our smart glasses because we're finally going to have enough, hopefully have enough to make it. Okay, so we have the memoristic processor, which was coming from the global market to that warehouse, the third, the first warehouse. Now we're going to have it coming from the third. And now let's see what that does to our production. Excellent. Everything is in the green. Everything looks like it's got more than enough to make. And our smart glasses, as we're running out of time, we've actually run over time on this particular video, but we had a lot to get done. Let's take a look. Smart glasses. And as you can see, sales over time, we, we didn't really have enough to make very many of them, but now the money's flowing in. We are making a good bit on these. So with that in mind, really appreciate you guys sticking with me. This was a long episode, but we had a lot of stuff to do. And research is really coming along on both our product buildings, but specifically our resource buildings, which we've nearly maxed out. Company research is coming along. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more Industry Manager Future Technologies.